<clears throat> Hello everybody. Um, I don't normally do this. <laughs> so what you see in the vice I've got a size 14 Ovis mixed. I got them in the mixed bag anyway. Um, with a gold bead. 5mm gold bead. Yeah. I've got some uni thread in a 72 D A O on olive. <clears throat> so let's go and be just catch it in. Oop. Do that again. Just catch it in nicely behind there a few turns in there. Normally just use the nano silks, but I want to build this up a fair bit. I've got plenty of wax on the thread. Just cut off the loose end. Hope the focus is alright. Do it on my phone, couldn't find the camera. Just coming across. Just touch and turns. In line where the barb is, I'm just going to make a little bit extra on the back, just lift it up, stop it um, from twisting around. So, then for the tail and the body, really, I've got some dark olive, just got to take a pinch off on the shorter side rather than the long side. You'll see where you've got the long side on the left, shorter side on the right. Because these are just small, a small fly. I want around about an inch long. I see a fly, they're like a, a little. Get out of there. Do what I'm doing, man. Like a little uh, streamer patterns. Very small. Just go damp it down to something makes my life easier. Don't want them too long. Maybe it's that. Uh, ish. Snip that on. Sorry if my fingers get in the way. Like I said, I don't normally do this on a camera. Mm, yeah, that's about right where I want it. Just snip this bit off. Then I'm going to put in a piece of copper wire. It's a heavy copper wire. So I'm going to slide that behind inside the so that's a bit of a mess at the minute. Just pull out the solder into there. Get a bit more wax. Just got to tie that up. Yeah, this time of year the the brownies are coming out. They want to fatten themselves up, don't they? So, what more to do it than a nice big bait getting pulled through the water? Well, I've just lost one tonight. Actually, you would have seen that video by now. Um, if you haven't. I was only out for 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to get a bit more. I'm going to get the longer bit. I've got some, sorry, I've got some crystal flash here. I'm going to do with the crystal flash. I'm going to put four bits in. Just going to fold them up with my fingers. Just like that. Hold that on there. Go for a bit of crystal flash. I've got a set of scissors. 
I've got to cut that crystal flash off. It's a little bit longer than the tail. Just a couple on each side, just move them around with your fingers. That looks better. Right ties that up, put underneath there, I don't normally tie bigger flies, so I normally tie the smaller ones, so you should be privileged, <coughs> I want a, a few now, so I've got to make the body, just pull a bit off, got to dampen these down off a bit of spit, um, new to the channel please subscribe so pull that in so they come past there not too bothered about any of those things what's sticking up It's like the woolly bugger pattern in it, just small, very small. Then I'm going to twist them around. Any loose bits just take off. Twist them around, a bit more spit. See so if you can get that tape in that body. Come the opposite way around and keep it twisted at the same time. Do this, I haven't got no lens on or nothing, just doing it with my eyesight. Let's come over the top. A few each side. Just pull it in tight. A bit more. Then, the nano silk would stop through that, no bother. It's got a long fibre here. It's doing it in. But yeah. <coughs> everyone does them differently this is off a uh, Indian cape this here so I'll take a, a nice colour just to put a bit in put a bit, put a bit of wax in there I want that coming round backwards so all there like so nip that in there Pull that in nice and tight. Like so. Just got a piece of it here. Let's take it off. Come on, guys. How did he get it? Not an expert on tying flies, um, saying that I've been doing it for 24 years now, roughly. So I've got to come round the back, the fly, one, two turns, then I've got to start making the taper on the body. See if we get like three in there. There we go, and we'll trap it in. There. Is that the camera? 
pull it off, it come around, just trap in some hackles if need be. Pull them back. front it's just from the river and it's done what they want to do snap where's it now so I can finish it off with just try and rescue a bit a bit of narrow silk here just pull that tight See if I can rescue that. Oh, ah. so I've used that. I've used that nano silk all the time because I find it's a lot tougher. Um, especially on my fingers. My fingers are rough skinned for working. Well, that it might work. Might not call it working. But I do. Pull that tight. Just give it a few twirls around it and snap off. Now, now I've got that nano silk on there. It's got to really go down hard on it. And you'll find well that it will not snap. <coughs> I don't think I'll apart from my resin. How can I lose something while I've already out? Little double needle just to knock it on. There's some on there. Got a white on my top. Give it a whip finish before it comes rock hard. Give her plenty of turns there. Um, turn it over there. That was a copper. Now I'll still got finished off with, by the way. Thanks for watching.